What's here for you around Bitches and Witches? Well, what's here for me is kind of a, a combination of two things, uh, like your own kind of like realization or reaffirmation about like the term witch and what it means and how there's a stigma to it. And, you know, what was like a year and a half ago when we we're out and about in our travels, talking about spiritual things, yeah. we're talking about the moon. I was like, oh, we should get a witch's almanac. And you, back then you were yeah. like kind of hesitant towards it. And these last I was like, years, that doesn't resonate with me. <laughs> I remember saying that. I was like, <laughs> no, no. And, I don't care I was, if you were raised Wiccan. I'm like, I'm not there for it. And I was like, okay. But like, <laughs> so in this like conversation the last couple of weeks, you have come through these, all these beautiful realizations. And for me, like I, I just was raised in it. So I've never had any big, like, you know, stipulations or weirdness about it. But on the yeah. other hand, the conversation I am really excited to have about, I'm excited to have that conversation as well, but yeah. about how it feels like society tries to pull women of power or label women of power as bitches or witches. If it's in the spiritual realm or it's anything, you know, not, you know, quote unquote, vanilla Christian, it's a witchy and it's witch. And like, even like yeah. you've had experiences with you doing, you know, your card reads and everyone's been like the devil. And then we look yeah. at you know, that come People up. People in my family have been like, that's dark sided. Or break that shit out. Yeah, it's like, how dare I fucking tune into my intuition and my own internal wisdom by using some beautiful images. How dare I become <laughs> powerful and think that I could source that from my own knowledge. It's crazy. Now you're being a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the other thing we want to talk about is about <laughs> if women are assertive or they have opinions or they're leaders or they have yeah. a strong voice, they instantly become bitches. It's like that fucking mm -hmm. bitch or this bitch mm -hmm. that, and that the big stigma, right. you know, and the, like the spiritual the wizards or like shaman or like, you know, medicine man, that's all respected, but witches, oh my God, creepy, double. Right? Oh yeah. my God. Let's talk about that for a second because that, I, I honestly, I feel like I started to get kind of riled up in this because I'm just like, how can people have this view, this very kind of like, oh, like that is evil reaction to a witch when the male counterpart of being a wizard is seriously fucking celebrated in our, you know, everyone's like, I'm Gryffindor, I'm this, and I'm gonna pretend to have a walk. But then it's like, if anyone even associates with cards or anything like that, that they're they're labeled as being something that is is like bad or evil. And I mean, I feel like there is so much like kind of wrapped up in that, but that was like a really big thing for me is just seeing how our like culture holds things associated with the masculine versus the, the feminine power. And, and that's totally what I've, I've seen all my life. And I've always all my life been surrounded by powerful women. It's been one of the great blessings of my life. Like as a young child, you know, my mom was cray cray. She was a very powerful <laughs> woman. And then even though you're a cray cray, you've been my best friend all my life and you're a powerful woman and I'm surrounded by powerful women in recovery. And instantly if they get too loud or step out of line or want too much, or they're like even managers that I've worked for, you know, for this from being in the business world, if they're assertive, you know, if a man's assertive, like, wow, he's a really powerful man. He's a power player. And if a woman's assertive, she's a fucking bitch. You know, what a bitch. Mm -hmm. And it's why, yeah. why do we go right. there? You know, and I know a lot of, well, I assume not a lot of men are watching this to begin with. A lot of men are going to scoff at that. A lot of women are going to be like too afraid to like touch the topic. But the two people we have joining us today, they ain't afraid to touch shit. So I think it's going to be a really interesting <laughs> conversation. <laughs> and that's what I I'm feel thinking. like, I mean, I tend to not like attract the type of people that are ultra masculine, even the women that are like more in tune with the masculine side. Although there have been some clients that I feel like they need sort of like a, they want kind of desire this balancing out. And so we tend kind of tend to go for the polar opposite, but I feel like even the men that like I work with or have friendships with that they usually have more access to the feminine because we all have both. And I feel like those are the type of people that we tend to really appreciate right even in our circle of friends are the ones that are really celebrating 
the feminine sides of the personality that sometimes they're kind of witchy. Sometimes they're kind of bitchy. Sometimes they're just weirdos. <laughs> but I feel like we really celebrate that in people.